President-elect Trump is vowing to impose 100 percent tariffs on BRICS nations unless they commit to not developing a new currency. Trump made the declaration in a Truth Social post Saturday saying, quote, there is no chance that the BRICS will replace the U.S. dollar in international trade, and any country that tries should wave goodbye to America. BRICS is a group comprised of nine countries with emerging economies. They initially included Russia, China, India, Brazil, and South Africa. But earlier this year, Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, and the United Arab Emirates formally joined the group. In a bold move, President-elect Donald Trump has issued a stern warning to the BRICS nations demanding assurances that they will not pursue the creation of an alternative currency to rival the U.S. dollar. Trump has reiterated his commitment to defending the dollar's status as the world's primary reserve currency and threatened to impose significant economic penalties, including 100 percent tariffs, on countries that challenge its dominance. If you are new to our channel, please leave a like as well as a sub so you never miss another video. For decades, the U.S. dollar has been the dominant global reserve currency providing significant economic advantages to the United States. However, this status quo is now being challenged as various countries, particularly within the BRICS bloc, work to establish alternative payment systems and reduce their reliance on the dollar. Russia, for example, has been a vocal proponent of a BRICS-led payment mechanism that would facilitate trade using local currencies, bypassing the dollar-centric financial system. President-elect Donald Trump's stern warning to the BRICS nations can be seen as a recognition by the U.S. of the growing momentum behind these de-dollarization efforts. The motivations behind this shift away from the U.S. dollar are manifold. Primarily, many countries seek to regain greater economic sovereignty and stability, as the dollar's dominance has allowed the U.S. to exert significant influence over the global economy. By diversifying away from the dollar, nations aim to insulate themselves from the impact of U.S. monetary policies and potential economic sanctions. Additionally, the accumulation of substantial gold reserves by BRICS countries, such as Russia and China, reflects a strategy to hedge against currency volatility and geopolitical risks. This diversification of foreign exchange reserves represents a broader move to reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar and promote a more multipolar global financial system. The establishment of platforms like BRICS Pay, a decentralized cross-border payment system, further underscores the BRICS bloc's commitment to fostering greater financial independence and cooperation among its members. By enabling transactions in local currencies, these initiatives seek to bypass traditional dollar-denominated systems and reduce the impact of any potential U.S.-led sanctions. The growing integration of banking infrastructures and payment networks between nations like Iran and Russia as well as the increased use of local currencies and bilateral trade agreements, such as between China and Brazil, are tangible examples of this ongoing de-dollarization trend. Trump's hardline stance, including threats of imposing 100 percent tariffs on countries that challenge the dollar's dominance, reflects the U.S. administration's determination to maintain the currency's primacy. However, the global momentum behind these efforts to reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar suggests that the international financial landscape is undergoing a fundamental shift, with far-reaching implications for the future of the global economy. In a landmark move in early 2023, China and Brazil, the two largest economies in the BRICS bloc, signed an agreement to settle trade transactions in their local currencies, the Chinese yuan and the Brazilian real. This arrangement eliminates the need for U.S. dollars as an intermediary, simplifying trade procedures and reducing exchange rate risks for businesses in both countries. According to reports, the bilateral trade volume between China and Brazil reached approximately $150 billion in 2022, with China being Brazil's largest trading partner. This shift to local currencies is expected to further boost trade by lowering transaction costs and fostering financial independence. Iran and Russia have also taken significant steps to integrate their banking systems, aiming to facilitate bilateral trade and financial transactions while circumventing Western sanctions. This collaboration includes the interconnection of their national payment networks and the mutual acceptance of bank cards, enhancing economic cooperation between the two nations allowing Iranian financial institutions to connect with Russian banks and over 100 banks from 13 other countries through Russia's system for the transfer of financial messages, an alternative to the SWIFT network. This connection enables the opening of letters of credit, transfers, and guarantees without relying on SWIFT, thereby mitigating the impact of Western financial sanctions. On July 6, 2024, the Central Bank of Iran announced the integration of Iran's Shiba Interbank network with Russia's Mir payment system. 
This development allows the use of Russian Mir cards within Iran, facilitating transactions for Russian tourists and businesses operating in the country. The initiative aims to reduce dependence on Western financial systems and promote bilateral economic activities. By November 2024, Iran and Russia had further advanced their financial integration by enabling the use of Iranian bank cards in Russia. This move allows Iranian citizens to conduct transactions and withdraw cash in Russia using their domestic bank cards, thereby enhancing financial accessibility for Iranians abroad and strengthening economic ties between the two nations. India and Russia have also embraced local currency trade, particularly in the energy sector. Following Western sanctions on Russia in 2022, the two countries increased the use of the Indian rupee and Russian ruble for transactions. Russia became India's largest supplier of crude oil in 2023, with a significant portion of these deals settled in Indian rupees. This shift allowed both nations to bypass dollar-denominated payment systems, shielding them from external economic pressures. South Africa, the smallest BRICS economy, has also shown interest in increasing trade settlements in Yuan. China is South Africa's largest trading partner, with bilateral trade exceeding $50 billion annually in 2023. South Africa signed agreements to use yuan for various imports, particularly machinery and electronics, thereby reducing its reliance on dollars and boosting renminbi liquidity in African markets. The establishment of BRICS Pay, a decentralized payment system, is another significant development in the BRICS bloc's efforts to diminish dependence on Western financial networks such as SWIFT and promote financial sovereignty. Launched in 2018 by the BRICS Business Council, BRICS Pay integrates existing national payment infrastructures, including Russia's Mir Network and India's Unified Payments Interface UPI. This integration enables users to conduct cross-border transactions in their native currencies, the Russian ruble, Chinese yuan, Indian rupee, Brazilian real, and South African rand, thereby streamlining payments and reducing transaction costs. The system employs a decentralized star topology architecture, creating distributed networks for transmitting payment information and liquidity. This design ensures high-speed deployment, scalability, and resilience against unilateral restrictive measures, enhancing the system's efficiency and security. By providing an alternative to SWIFT, BRICS Pay seeks to mitigate the impact of potential sanctions and reduce exposure to currency fluctuations. The platform's inclusivity and transparency are intended to foster greater economic cooperation among BRICS nations and their global partners. In a concerted effort to strengthen financial stability and provide a hedge against currency volatility and geopolitical risks, BRICS countries have been significantly increasing their gold reserves. As of the second quarter of 2024, BRICS nations collectively hold approximately 6,200 tons of gold, accounting for 21.4% of the world's total gold reserves. Russia leads the bloc with 2,340 tons, or 88.1% of global reserves, followed closely by China with 2,260 tons, or 7.8%. Between 2018 and 2024, Brazil's gold reserves index increased nearly threefold, indicating a robust strategy to bolster financial defenses. This trend reflects a broader movement among BRICS countries to diversify their reserves away from the US dollar. The accumulation of gold serves as a safeguard against economic sanctions and enhances monetary policy autonomy. By holding substantial gold reserves, BRICS nations aim to reduce their vulnerability to external financial pressures and promote a more multipolar global financial system. The 16th BRICS Summit, held in Kazan, Russia, from October 22 to 24, 2024, marked a significant step in the bloc's de-dollarization efforts and expansion plans. The summit concluded with the adoption of the Kazan Declaration, emphasizing the need for a multipolar world order and advocating for reforms in global financial systems to reduce dollar dominance. Thirteen countries, including Algeria, Belarus, Bolivia, Cuba, Indonesia, Kazakhstan, Malaysia, Nigeria, Thailand, Turkey, Uganda, Uzbekistan, and Vietnam, were added as partner countries, reflecting BRICS' growing influence and its commitment to representing the Global South. The summit discussed creating an autonomous cross-border settlement and depository system to facilitate trade in local currencies, 
with finance ministers tasked with exploring the use of national currencies and reporting on their findings in future meetings. Notable bilateral meetings occurred on the sidelines of the summit, with Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin reaffirming their strategic partnership, while Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Xi addressed border tensions, signaling a thaw in relations. The global trend of dollarization is driven by several key motivations. One major factor is the pursuit of economic sovereignty and stability. The dominance of the U.S. dollar gives the United States significant influence over the global economy, and its monetary policies can create instability in other nations. By moving away from the dollar, countries aim to regain control over their economic policies and reduce their exposure to external shocks. Additionally, the reliance on the dollar makes countries vulnerable to U.S. economic sanctions, which can restrict access to the global financial system. Another motivation is the diversification of foreign exchange reserves. Traditionally, central banks have held a large portion of their reserves in U.S. dollars, but there is a growing trend to diversify into other currencies and assets like gold. This approach spreads risk and reduces dependence on the dollar. Geopolitical considerations also play a role, as countries like China and Russia aim to counteract U.S. economic dominance by promoting the use of their own currencies in international trade. The shift away from the dollar also reflects global economic changes, as emerging economies expand their influence in international trade and increasingly use their own currencies to reflect their growing economic power and strengthen their financial markets. President-elect Trump's warning to the BRICS nations underscores the growing tensions surrounding the issue of dollarization. Trump has vowed to make it economically unfeasible for any nation to abandon the U.S. dollar, and his administration's hardline economic policies are likely to be a focal point of his second term, with significant implications for international trade and diplomacy. Trump's advisors have reportedly been exploring ways to penalize nations that engage in bilateral trade using non-dollar currencies, including imposing export restrictions, labeling countries as currency manipulators, and instituting additional trade levies. These strategic measures reflect Trump's long-standing commitment to maintaining the dollar's central role in global trade. The issue of dollarization gained prominence after the BRICS nations discussed reducing reliance on the U.S. dollar at their 2023 summit. The push for alternative currencies gained momentum in 2022 when U.S.-led sanctions against Russia amplified global frustrations with dollar dominance. Trump's campaign has particularly focused on countering these efforts, signaling a hardline stand against any economic bloc that undermines the dollar. Trump's threats to impose 100% tariffs on countries that challenge the dollar's dominance have already caused ripples in global markets. His previous announcements of tariffs on goods from China, Mexico, and Canada have highlighted his willingness to use economic tools to achieve broader policy objectives, both domestically and internationally. As Trump prepares to take office, his administration's hardline economic policies are likely to be a central focus, with significant implications for the global financial landscape. The ongoing struggle between the United States' efforts to maintain the dollar's supremacy and the BRICS nation's push for greater financial independence and multipolarity will undoubtedly shape the future of the international economic order. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.